All right, so we are 3407. This should be us right here. We'll have to find out. We're about 11 hours into our 13 hour flight, so two more hours to go. I've pretty much been horizontal for about 11 of those hours. I have a whole road of myself, it's been pretty fantastic. But two more hours, then we're in Abu Dhabi for a day and a half, and another 13 hours down to Australia. Check out the living situation here, it's actually pretty good. five degrees outside 104 degrees and the pool is probably about 100 degrees feels more like a like a hot tub but still very very refreshing so my iPhone's not waterproof but I just want to show you the view from these towers it's pretty insane so one car in Fast and the Furious drove from that one into that building pretty wild stuff some pretty wild stuff so who remembers when I preached about how to take this on a plane how to make sure you're doing everything correctly and being safe about it a well, funny story when I was leaving the Abu Dhabi Airport I got stopped by security as I was leaving customs and they basically went through all my stuff they went through my backpack and they went through my luggage I kept this let me keep this but as I'm unpacking now, I'm noticing the little screw that's supposed to go in here that allows you to connect this to the tripod is gone. So I actually can't even use this. So it must have fallen out when he was checking all my stuff. After a quick shower, I'm ready to give more advice that I apparently can't follow myself. If you bring this stupid thing, put it in a Ziploc bag so if the screw comes out, you can catch the screw. I am not talking about this thing anymore. It's such a pain. I have a very strong urge to nap because I'm completely exhausted, but I don't foresee myself being in Abu Dhabi again for a while. So there's an observation deck in the two towers that we're in, Lord of the Rings reference, in the two towers that we're in, I'm gonna go check one of them out. It should be pretty cool. So we're at the top of Etihad Towers is the observation deck, and it's the second highest point in Abu Dhabi, and the views are pretty incredible. This is the main city, although I could totally be lying. It's really far off in the distance behind all of that haze. But I mean, you can just see for miles from this high up. Okay, so a final update after doing all of that. I managed, I managed to find a little piece. It's this stupid little screw thing 
that goes into the ball head that just fell out and why it's not glued in there, I don't know. But now this will be the last time I talk about this because it's getting a little silly. But I did find a little piece, thankfully. Would have been a pain without it. It's really interesting because it looks like what they're doing is they're actually making artificial islands. You can see that there's a tractor right down there and all of these islands, or at least most of these islands, I believe, are man-made. So I think we had a very productive last day here in Abu Dhabi. Short little layover, but woke up around 7.30, went to breakfast. A bunch of fresh fruit. They even got dragon fruit. I've actually never seen that before. After that, spent a few hours at the pool and the beach, then got a quick workout in at the gym. Then I went ahead and walked around the grounds a bit, took some pictures, and then finally went back up to the observation deck to attempt some time lapses because the view is phenomenal. But the problem is it's a desert, so there's no wind, and you sort of need wind and clouds to do a time lapse. But besides that, we have a few more hours here, and then it's straight off to the Abu Dhabi airport for a 13-hour flight. Another 13 hour flight. Actually, I think this one's 14 hours, which is even more fun. And then Melbourne will be our final destination. Now I have a terrible habit of leaving stuff at hotel rooms. I don't know what it is, but I always seem to forget one or two items. Nothing usually major. You know, pieces of clothes, things I may want later, things I've bought in here. Luckily enough, I've only been here for a day and a half. So hopefully we can minimize that happening. But of course, you always do a full sweep of the room before you leave. All right, it's time to go. Let's say goodbye to this view one more time. Absolutely gorgeous. But all good things must come to an end. And it's time to head to the airport.